Harpal Hendricks and his wife, uh, Helen LaKelly Hunt, wrote the book, Making Marriage Simple, 10 Relationship Saving Truths, <clears throat> to share with you the culmination of our work so far. <clears throat> our goal is to give you the simple, the most simple and effective ways to make your marriage great. We'd offer you, we've offered you 10 powerful truths to change your understanding about what makes relationship work or not. So, <clears throat> pardon me. <clears throat> so if you as a couple are using some of the information I've shared with their book, from their book, you really are part of the relationship revolution. The partnership marriage is the next stage in the evolution of relationships. And it's about time, isn't it? That men and women are seen and treated and treat each other as equals in all regards. The author's contention is that if you get the marriage piece right, it'll have tremendous impacts all across the board. And they give an example for estimates on the average cost of divorce in the United States range from 15,000 to 30,000. Divorce and unwed childbearing cost American taxpayers an estimated $112 billion each year and at least $1 trillion over a decade. And it's our taxes that fund the agencies bearing the burden of these costs. According to a special report, even very small increases in stable marriage rates would result in very large, very large returns to taxpayers. For example, a mere 1% reduction in rates of family fragmentation would save taxpayers 1.12 billion annually, 1%. And our government would have an extra billion plus a year, uh, uh, extra billion plus a year to spend on other things. <clears throat> so they go on to say, as we deliberately expand the marriage advantage into our culture, we offer five final truths to add in this transformation. So <laughs> it's not a bad deal. You buy a book for, with 10 relationship saving truths and you get another five tossed in. And I'll work through these five. I'll just do one today. The first of the five final truths deals with a concept I've espoused for years. Healthy marriages are the ultimate upriver, uh, upstream prevention. Healthy marriages are the ultimate upstream prevention. Now think about it. If, if a river is, is always polluted, obviously you have to clean it up. But if you don't do something about the upstream stuff, it's going to stay polluted. Eventually you're going to have to clean it up again. And similarly in life, issues like, for example, teenage pregnancies, an increased high school dropout rate, rise in crime and drug use, alcoholism, lack of respect for people in the environment, to name a few, are major issues in, in many Canadian citizens, cities. You know, focusing on these issues is the downriver part. You know, the cleanup and the cost, uh, it costs taxpayers a lot of money. So. The upriver solution is to change the family dynamic. <clears throat> and year, this was years ago when I first trained with Harville. The mantra of the Imago Institute was, how do we raise healthier kids? Well, who are the models for the children? Obviously, the parents are the most important. All right. So if parents have a healthier relationship, they'll do less damage to their children, who in turn will do less damage to their children, and we begin the upriver uh, clean up. And slowly or quickly, we build a community, a nation, a world that is transformed, that's less neg negative and more empathic. And, and many of those downriver problems might be lessened or eliminated. So, that, that, like I say, that's been uh, something I've thought about for years, uh, that you have to do the upstream prevention so you don't have to do the downriver cleanup. They conclude this section with, downriver issues are symptomatic, symptomatic of an unhealthy community. To up, go upstream, you've got to fix the community. The core of any community is the family, and the core of the family is the couples. Put simply, healthy homes lead to a healthy society. And the way to ensure healthy homes is to have healthy couples. Okay, so next week I'll... <clears throat> look at the next two of their final five truths. Healthy relationships create strong individuals and number three, couplehood as a spiritual path. So I hope you all had a, a great uh, Canada Day weekend and uh, I'll, I'll see you next week. Thanks a lot. <laughs>